Hey guys, welcome to the United States of America, the country of brands. And there are so many brands here that are international, so I want you to learn how to pronounce them in the right way so you can sound more American and more natural. If you're interested, please continue watching this vlog. Okay, what is your favorite American restaurant? It's not McDonald's or McDonald's, it's McDonald's. It's very funny, so McDonald's. And that's the restaurant. McDonald's, McDonald's. This store, I'm not sure how to pronounce the name, but good thing we can just go in and ask. Let's do it. How do you pronounce the name of the store correctly in English? Well, they say moleskin. Moleskin? Um, but it just depends on where you're from. So. Well, okay, if it's, it's the American Italian. version, so, oh, okay. It's an Italian brand, so. But we were originally from? So it just depends on the region that you're from. Okay, but in America, it would be moleskin. Moleskin? Moleskin. Remember, moleskin. This is one of the most famous networks in the United States. So when you come to the States and you and you need to get a SIM card, you would go to either AT&T or T-Mobile. So remember, it's in American, it's T-Mobile because Americans don't say mobile, they say mobile. So the company's name in American is pronounced T-Mobile. T-Mobile was a rapper. My favorite car in the world is called Mercedes. Remember, Mercedes. It's my Mercedes. It is a car called Chevrolet. And surprisingly, it's an American company, but it uses a French name. And sometimes Americans just call it Chevy. I have a Chevy, Chevrolet. in Chevrolet right behind me is another French shop that already came to the United States and again if you want to be correct you want to read it in a French manner so it's Yves Saint Laurent Yves Saint Laurent Yves Saint Laurent one of my favorite brands just behind me and the right way to pronounce it is again in French because it's from France. So the correct way to say this word is Chanel. And by the way, I have earrings from Chanel and they're like the best. I've been wearing them for two years and I think they're the best earrings in the world. So I'm a fan. Chanel, I'm a fan. Chanel. 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 I am not really sure about this one. I think it's Lacoste. But just to make sure, let's go in and ask how to pronounce this brand name. Can you tell me what's the right name to pronounce the name of the shop? Oh, Lacoste. Lacoste. Yes. So no E in the end. No. Lacoste. Remember? Lacoste. Or if you want to say it with like a little bit of a French accent, Lacoste. Lacoste is French, right? Yeah. Okay. Lacoste if you want to be more French. We are in front of one of my favorite shops and my backpack is from there. So, the right way to pronounce the name of the shop is Louis Vuitton. Again, everything is French, come on. So, everything needs to be pronounced in a French way if you want to sound proper in English as well. So, Louis Vuitton. By the way, if you're a fan of shops like Louis Vuitton, Gucci, Chanel, they are all from Europe and it's not the best idea to buy things from them in the United States because you don't get a tax free and tax free is like 9% off when you travel to Europe if you're not from Europe of course and in the United States you get an additional tax so if you want to buy a Louis Vuitton bag I would advise you to go to France and get a tax free when you travel out of the European Union. Who's got Nike shoes? The correct way to pronounce this brand name is Nike, but that's very American. If you travel abroad, people would say Nike, but the right way is Nike. 
because because it's just the way it's pronounced. So, Nike. Now we're gonna learn two words. Word number one is one of the most famous American cars. It's called Lincoln. Again, pay attention to what I'm saying here. It's not Lincoln, the way it's written. There is an L before N. When you actually pronounce it, you say Lincoln. The second thing about this car, it's also an Uber. You know what Uber is, right? And Uber is originally a German word, but Americans use it in a sense of better. So it's not Uber. It, again, you do not follow American pronunciation rules here. You just say Uber. So Lincoln, Uber. I need an Uber. I am standing in front of a very expensive shop. Again, it's French, and I would suppose you pronounce it Hermé, but we're gonna try and ask them. I know it's prohibited to film inside those shops, but let's see what they tell us. If you could tell me how to pronounce your brand name. Uh, it's Hermès. Hermès. Yes. So you actually pronounce the last. It's a French uh, brand, so you don't pronounce it. It's Hermès. Okay. Yeah, Hermes. So, the correct way to pronounce it, I was wrong. You actually pronounce the last S. It's Hermes. Hermes. I was a little confused about this one. I pronounced it in a little American way with all the R's. I have two degrees, a husband and a Burberry coat. Another brand name, really famous and it's the competitor of Nike and it's called Adidas. You probably called it Adidas or something else, but the correct way to pronounce it in American is Adidas. Adidas. We found $20 in a pair of Adidas. A car just passed by and the car is called Porsche and that's the right way to pronounce it because it's a German name, the stress goes yeah. to the first part of the word and we say Porsche. Remember, never say know, Porsche, like never, voice. never. Yeah. And don't say latte. This is like the worst thing I've ever heard. It's latte. Latte is Italian word. So, if you drink coffee, it's latte, not latte. Some people say Porsche. Great example of a name of a car that a lot of people are pronouncing wrong is BMW. This is a German car and in Germany you would say BMW. But if you're in America and you want to sound American, it's BMW and no other options. BMW. I have a task for you. Please comment down below with the most famous brand that came from your country and became famous internationally and let us know how to pronounce it right. So comment below which country you're from, what is the most famous brand and how you pronounce it. I'm looking forward to reading your comments. Thank you so much for watching this video up to the very end. If you enjoyed the content, please like this video because that's the only way for me to know that you enjoyed it. And if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, there's a red button below. Click subscribe and you're gonna see you in the next videos. Bye!